And welcome back. Well, last week, the president signed the Inflation Reduction Act, and part of that will have an impact on Medicare costs. So listen up. J.J. Kravitz from FHK Insurance joins us now to teach us more about that, and he's got a few other insights on how to save money, too. Good to see you, J.J. Great to be back, Tiffany. Thank you. You bet. I think this is going to sound good to people because there's things that they've heard about, you know, the reduction inflation or the Inflation Reduction Act that have sounded good and some things that haven't. Yes. So is this good news for the Medicare insurance world? Yeah. Yeah, it's great news. Uh, there, politics aside, the Inflation Reduction Act will essentially give Medicare the ability to negotiate their own out-of-pocket expenses and really? uh, costs for their medications. Um, so basically, it's going to cap the maximum out-of-pocket spend that someone could even spend on their drugs. And so those individuals paying way too much for their drug coverage, uh, there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Now, um, that's going to happen in 2025, so okay. we have to wait some time. Um, but there's good news to come. And more relevantly, uh, just a few weeks away now, the annual enrollment period uh, is coming up and we're really excited about that. Well, I'm glad you bring that up. So uh, first of all, I'm really excited about that news. And I think that'll sound good, especially people who use insulin. I know that's been a hot topic, you know, for med Medicare and medication. Absolutely. So I love to hear that. Um, let's talk a little bit about annual enrollment because a lot of people aren't familiar with exactly what that means. Yes, the annual enrollment period, we call it the AEP. Mm -hmm. um, it starts October 15th, but it's really a time October 1st to start being aware looking out for the plan documents um, and so basically that's the shop around period of time where individuals can look at their 2023 plan and uh, change their 2023 plan I should say I should say compare it to their 2022 plan oh okay. and so there's a lot of changes happening and it, this is sort of about the fine print this year I think that's always a reason to meet with you and just go over things. So what do people do first? Is that what they do? Set up an appointment? The first thing is to keep a lookout for the annual notice of changes letter. Got which it. Which is going to be a letter coming directly to you from, well, med yeah. people on Medicare. Uh, yeah, not me yet. <laughs> Don't age me yet, JJ. <laughs> It'll come right from the insurance company. And yep. so uh, what that little form does is it shows you your current plan in 2022 against the plan in 2023. That you would just be moved into, correct? correct? So when they get that then, that change notice, it's the annual notice of change letter, what do they do then? Yes, the ANOC, right? Um, ANOC, I love all these acronyms, <laughs> all these right? Acronyms. <laughs> so the, the ANOC is an amazing letter. Um, and it's something that you should really read through with a fine tooth comb and understand the changes that are happening with the current plan. And in regards to the entire marketplace, once you get that form, um, individuals like myself can now talk to you about the 2023 plan. So we're excited about that form. Well, I feel like everybody's feeling the inflation hit, right? Everything's going up in cost. So as you do that, how can you possibly save money right now? Because the other one doesn't come into effect until 2025. Yeah, the, you know, what we've seen in this Medicare Advantage market is the premiums on Medicare Advantage are mostly all zero. And so uh, the insurance companies aren't really fighting for lowering premiums. What, what they're really fighting for is those extras, those benefits. Yeah. And in today's terms and next year's terms, they're becoming more and more impactful. I mean, who couldn't really uh, use an extra thousand dollars of dental? Well, and these are those Advantage benefits, the Medicare Advantage that you're talking about, right? Right. And yeah. uh, since, again, the premium's already zero, these insurance companies are getting more and more creative on how they compete for your business. And Competition is good. Competition is our best friend in this market. Mm -hmm. uh, from everything from dental vision hearing over the counter, there's plans offering personal training and pest control. So wow. they're getting more and more creatively competitive every year. And, Interesting. And another note too, uh, this is the year that your viewers on Medicare supplemental plans and a, stand, and a Part D plan mm -hmm. um, should take a serious look at Medicare Advantage. And I'm happy to take the journey with yeah. them. Yeah. Well, I think that's what's so great about what you guys do is you really do sit down and go over all that and the parts because I think it can be um, confusing. So before we get to that, I want to. There's three options that people really have, yeah. right? So talk about the three options with with FHK that you kind of go over. Sure. There's three options or three methods to enroll, right? Mm -hmm. If you're on Medicare. So let's kind of run through them. I'm not recommending all three of these, uh, but here's what generally people do. The first option to enroll in Medicare plan is to call the insurance company direct. Mm -hmm. You know, this is sort of like your self-starter solo mission. You you bust out the notebook and spreadsheets and you call each insurance company. That's you know, a lot of work. <laughs> you write down all the benefits, how it applies to you. And remember, each of these plans offer about three or five in each market. Okay. Um, so it's a lot of calls, can be some cumbersome. Mm -hmm. um, and remember that insurance company can only recommend or talk about their own plan. 
So there's a bias, an organic bias there. Got it. Yeah. Um, the so if you're calling United Healthcare, for example, just right. to pick one out, you know, they'd only tell you about their plans. Right. Yeah. Rightfully mm -hmm. so. Right. Yep. We don't want United Healthcare yeah. talking about someone else. Right. Um, and so the second option would be sort of that hotline kind of model, where uh, you know these are call centers serviced mm -hmm. out of state, uh, and uh, you know these are the kind of situations where you call the call center, this hotline, and their number one goal is to change your insurance around. Yeah. Uh, regardless of your doctors, hospitals. Because they get paid on the change, right? Right. right. We've got about 30 seconds left, so sure. I want you to get to that and, third And so one. what we recommend, obviously, is working with us. By the time people come to, with FHK, the third option, um, we're completely free as if you enroll directly with the insurance company. No additional cost. But you get a lot more when you work with us. And, and not only that, you get a lot more out of your plan, like mm -hmm. from reimbursements to claims. We're here for you after we talk to you. So we're invested in the relationship. You're fourth generation. You've been doing this for a long time. Your family's been around. You really care about people here in our community and you're local. So I'm going to give everybody all the information. All right. It's so good to have you here today. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah, good to see you. If you're looking for Medicare advice today or down the road, or you just want to talk to JJ and establish that relationship, or one of their other FHK insurance agents, just call them. It's 414-228-7555. Or for more information, you can go online to fhkinsurance.com.